Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. A few VAR controversial moments this weekend. Um, because of my first game, I'm just going to clear up on that game. But most of the VAR decisions were pretty similar anyway. And I think it could be a big help for the VAR going forward. But anyway guys, let's get down to these predictions, let's get down to the games guys. Anyway, you know what I do, so you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Brighton over Albion versus Chelsea. Now Brighton did have an offside goal, um, beating Bournemouth 2-0 this previous weekend. Um, you know, but as I said they did have the offside goal and Chelsea beat Arsenal 2-1 away from home. This, this VAR, now, I'm still a fan of it, because I don't blame the VAR, I can't blame technology, I'm afraid, but, I think the offside ball should be if the whole of your body's offside, and then give it offside, fair enough. But, I don't see why they're counting the hands, you can't score with the hand, um, let's say, for example, I'm 6'4", so, if you think about, a six foot guy marking me and I'll put my arm out, my arm's got to be longer than my, than my opponent, obviously that's physics um, and obviously you know, that's the human way but I think that rule needs to be ever so slightly adapted um, so all of your body's got to be offside for it to be an offside goal because I do find a bit out of order how you know it's going the way it's going obviously nothing can be done now end of the season be interested to see if that rule comes in um, as I've said uh, Brighton beating Bournemouth 2-0 um, Chelsea beating uh, Arsenal 2-1 away from home I watched that Chelsea Arsenal game and Chelsea didn't look at their best um, you know if that Chelsea lost that game to Arsenal it would have been their second defeat on the bounce um, how do I think this game's going to go I go for a Brighton win and I go for a 2-0 Brighton win my next one is Burnley versus Aston Villa. Um, Aston Villa losing 3 0 away to Watford. Burnley losing 2 0 at home to um, Manchester United. Um, Villa um, currently sitting 18th, uh, just one point below West Ham. And while I'm on the verge of West Ham, um, they did sack Pellegrini and David Moyes just got the job. If you're a West Ham fan, please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, but going back to Villa, I really struggled to see even stand up this season, really. I know we've just passed the halfway mark, but you've got 18 games, and, you know, a lot of people saying the safety gap's going to be 30, 25 points, uh, 35 points, sorry, not 25. Um... You know, it's it's really tight. Um, but what do you think they're going to do? Stay up or go down? Please feel free to put your comments down below. Um, Burnley sit in 13th. I think they're going to win this game. And I'll go for a 2-1 Burnley win. My next one is Newcastle versus Leicester. Um, Newcastle um, beating, uh, sorry, losing to Everton 2-1 away from home. Um, Leicester beating West Ham 2-1 away from home. Um, going forward for Leicester, I, you know, I think I'll get the top two. Um, Newcastle, just for kind of a bit of an off day, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 3-1 Leicester win. My next one is Southampton versus Tottenham. Tottenham drawing 2-2 away to Norwich. Southampton 1-1 um, at home to Crystal Palace. Um, I think Tottenham are very fortunate to uh, get the point. But if you're a Tottenham fan, please feel free. Where do you think you're going to finish up this season? I mean, currently you're in sixth with 30 points. So, you know, you're, what, five points out of the top four. Do you think you're going to make that gap up? Um, as far as the result goes, 
I'm going to go for Southampton win. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Southampton win. My next one is Watford versus Wolverhampton. Um, Watford beating Aston Villa 3 0 at home. Um, Wolverhampton losing 1 0 away to Liverpool. Yet again, controversial VAR decisions in that Liverpool game. I've already spoke to you about this similar one. The one I'm going to talk about here is the Van Dijk handball. I've seen it, and this is where the Premier League are confusing me by miles. And that is the fact of the handball. If it's not clear and obvious, then why are you giving all these offside for? Their hands offside, yeah, it's still not clear and obvious, is it? Come on, Premier League, come on, FA. Um, you know, let's be real. Um, but... Yeah, very fortunate Liverpool goal. And if I was the ref for the VAR, I'd let the ball run the goal stand as well. Um, but this also will definitely need to be changed. Um, Watford doing okay. Uh, winning winning the two out of the last three games, drawing the other one. Um, looking different on like Nigel Pearson. Um, just three points out of the safety gap. Um, definitely coming back into the fight. Um, going up against a good Wolverhampton side, uh, but I'll go for a 2 1 Wolverhampton win. My next one is Manchester City versus Everton. Um, Manchester City beat Sheffield United 2 0 at home. Everton um, beating Newcastle 2 1 away from home. Two different teams. Um, going into this game, but Carlo with two very good managers. Um, Carlo, two out of two. Uh, oh, excuse me. Um, Pellegrini is going to be main city manager come the end of the season. That's the question. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a one all score live for that one. My next one is Norwich versus Crystal Palace. Um, Norwich, quick right, start with Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace 1 1 um, away to Southampton. Norwich 2 2 Tottenham. Very good point for Norwich, but they must be very disappointed not to get the three. Um, yet again, another upside decision by VAR. You can't give it upside by their hands, you just can't do it. Um, that really does frustrate me. Um, going up against an okay Crystal Palace side. Um, you know, let's not beat around the bush with uh, this one. You've got a Crystal Palace team that does okay. But anyway, like Norwich are attacking, I'll go predicted to win this game. And I'll go for a 2-1 Norwich win. My next one is West Ham versus Bournemouth. Bournemouth loses 2 0 away to Brighton over Albion. West Ham loses 2 1 at home to Leicester. Two teams definitely in a relegation dogfight. Um, a point between the two. Um, a defeat to any of these clubs come this game could see them in the bottom three for um, the next round of fixtures. Um, but, you know, it's got to be an interesting game to watch and um, we'll to see what happens. As far as it goes, I'll go for a very boring, very nip, nick and tuck, nil-nil scoreline for that one. My next one is Arsenal versus Man Manchester United. Um, Arsenal loses 2-1. Um, at home to Chelsea um, Man United beat Burnley 2 0 away from home so both teams going in with this diff uh, bit of different confidence um, Arsenal's last three <sighs> sorry again um, Arsenal's last three draw and draw and lost Man United's last three lost 1-1. One, one. So, you know, may not go in with a bit more confidence, which will go, go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one for Manchester United. 
My last one for this weekend is Liverpool versus Sheffield United. Sheffield United um, lose a 2-0 away to Manchester City. Liverpool beat Wolverhampton 1-0 at home. Um, yet again, another VAR talking point with this Sheffield United game. As I said, that these VARs were all very similar. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Liverpool win for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Give us a little big thumbs up if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.